Okay, this is section 1.3, order of operations. My goal for today is I want you to be able to use the order of operations to evaluate algebraic expressions. Okay, so people commonly use, um, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally to remember the order of operations. But I'm going to expand on the P. Normally we just call it parentheses, but I want you to know that the P can represent parentheses, brackets, any type of grouping symbol. Now another grouping symbol that you probably don't commonly think of would be the fraction bar. And the fraction bar divides it into two groups, the numerator and the denominator. Next we have exponents and then multiplication and division Now remember multiplication and division, multiplication doesn't have to come first. Do whichever comes first as you read the problem from left to right. Then we have addition and subtraction. And again, with addition and subtraction, do whichever operation comes first when you get to this point as you read from left to right. Now let's look at a couple of examples. I have 7 plus 3 times 2. Well, I have to take care of 3 times 2 first because that's multiplication. So I have 7 plus 6 and 7 plus 6 is equal to 13. 12 minus 9 divided by 3 plus 7. I need to take care of 9 divided by 3 first. So I have 12 minus 3 plus 7. 12 minus 3 gives me 9. So I have 9 plus 7. Now when I combine that, I get 16. Next, I have 29 minus 3 times 9 minus 4. I have to take care of what's in parentheses first. So I have 29 minus 3 times 5. Now I have 29 minus, let's see I've got 3 times 5 so it's going to be minus 15 and 29 minus 15 gives me 14. Next I have 2 times 7 plus 2 times 4. Now notice inside this set of parentheses I still have to follow the order of operations because I have more than one operation inside. So I have 2 times 7, 2 times 4 gives me 8, so plus 8, minus 10. Well, I still have parentheses, I need to take care of that. 2 times, let's see, 7 plus 8, that's going to give me 15, minus 10. 2 times 15 gives me 30, so now I have 30 minus 10, and that's equal to 20. Now let's look at this next one. Now I have a fraction bar that I need to take care of. So I have 7 times 4, so that's 28. Now I have 8 plus 7 squared minus 1. First thing I need to take care of is 7 squared. So I have 8 plus 49 minus 1. I'm going to keep bringing this 28 over so I don't forget it. 8 plus 49 gives me 57 minus 1. 57 minus 1 gives me 56. Now I'm going to look and see if I can simplify my fraction. Oh, and I can. It's going to simplify very nicely down to 1 half. Okay, now we're going to evaluate. Now this is where you're going to need to be careful again because remember like on this 3x squared 
the squared only goes with the base, whatever that x value is. So let's evaluate 3x squared plus 1 when x is equal to 4. So now I have 3 times 4 squared plus 1. So I have 3 times 16 plus 1. See, 3 times 16, that's going to give me 48 plus 1, which is equal to 49. Now let's look at the next one. I have 27 divided by x squared plus 3 when x is equal to 3. So I have 27 divided by 3 squared plus 3. Okay, no parentheses, exponents need to take care of this guy. So I have 27 divided by 9 plus 3. Okay, 27 divided by 9, that leaves me 3. I'm going to go ahead and bring plus 3 down. So 3 plus 3 is equal to 6. So if you take your time and just break it down step by step, you're not going to have any problems at all.